Hey guys, it's Jessica, Corporate Recruiter. I wanted to talk about something that I've been prepping my interview candidates for, and it is behavior-based interviews. So I made another video about how to prepare for when you have a behavior-based interview. And what I mean by a behavior-based interview is, um, it is an interview where you'll be asked specific questions posed in a way to really understand how your past behavior would reflect how you would work in um, the job you're applying to. So um, a behavioral based question may be, for example, tell me about a time when you worked um, collaboratively within a team or a group. Um, it's basically posed in a way that um, you have to think about a specific situation and really talk through um, what you did, what kind of behaviors you showed in that specific time. So it can be a challenge for many people because it's hard to prepare for because you won't know the questions. And you do have to talk about something that you did in the past, so it causes you to really think and it causes you to also be able to give a lot of details um, and really demonstrate certain behaviors to the interviewer. So um, people have a challenge sometimes and one thing that I was just talking to someone about um, is when you're asked a question to actually write down the question or say the question back to the interviewer. Some people are visual, some people are, you know, uh, more so um, good at remembering things when you hear them. So whatever works for you, but I do recommend that you do one of those things or do both. So. The thing about that is that a lot of times when I am asking behavioral based questions during interviews, candidates will forget the question. <laughs> They'll start talking and talking and they didn't really answer the question I asked them. And so in order to help with that, I tell all of my um, candidates that are going to be interviewing to actually write down the question that they're asked or say it back to the interviewer. So that way you have it here in mind and you actually understand, first of all, you understand what they're asking for. So that's why I say say it back to them. So you asked me to tell me about a time when I worked collaboratively with the team and they'll say yes or no and then you got it. When you write it down, you can actually refer back to it. So if you find yourself talking, 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 and you're wondering, are you answering the question? You can go back and see what you wrote and think, okay, maybe I'm not answering the question. Let me focus my answer here. So anyway, just a quick tip about behavioral-based interviews. Happy to provide more context, but I am trying to make my videos a little shorter. Um, and I think I'm doing a better job with that. I can definitely talk and talk and talk. And I work in HR, so of course, you know that um, folks that work in HR are generally talkers, but um, I'm trying to keep it short. So there is my one tip for when you have a behavioral based interviews and you're preparing for it. All right. I hope this is helpful. If you'd like more content, let me know. And if you liked the video and found some value, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, um, and look out for my next video. Bye.